Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial guide. My name is Braldev, and in this episode, we'll be talking about four things that all link to each other to make this one video. Those being math, parameters, arguments, and return statements. But we're going to go through each of them one by one inside of this episode. And it's going to be one of the more important episodes. So I really want you to pay attention to this episode. So first thing we're going to start with is learning about math. Now, I'm going to assume that you know, like the basics of math with operations like addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication and division, all those sorts of things. If you don't know how to do those things, well, then I don't think you're ready for this video. I'm sorry to tell you that, um, but I'm going to assume that you do know those things. So if that is the case, then we can go ahead and continue with this tutorial guide. So what we're actually going to do is go to the right side and uh, disable our function script. And we're going to go through the same thing, which is hitting the plus sign in the workspace, searching up for a script. We're going to insert that. And then we're going to rename this script. So right click on it and then rename to math, enter just like that. Okay. And I'm also going to delete this statement right over here. So I'm going to hit control a and then delete just like this. So when we're working with math, um, so in this case, it's going to be basic operations like addition, subtraction, all those other things. We basically take two numbers and then we do the operation that we specify in between those two numbers. And we can do this um, by having a variable if we want um, that to be the case. Uh, so what we can do is write a variable. So we're going to say local and we can make this an addition variable. So we can call this uh, just simply addition, but you can name this whatever you want to be. Um, we're going to set this equal to two numbers with whatever um, operation we decide to use for this statement. So what we can do is put two numbers here. So we can say, uh, let's say two, and then we're going to say plus. So this is going to be a plus sign indicating addition plus two, just like this. And if we were to print the statement, so if you were to say uh, print open close parentheses, and then we throw in addition over here, just like this, and we go into the game, hit play, then what we should see in the output is the number four. So if we click on it, we can see that if we put two and then we put a plus sign with another two, then that's going to be an addition of two plus two, which is equal to four. And that's going to be set equal to addition. And it's going to print that inside of the output uh, with this addition variable. So I'm going to hit stop. And that is the basics of using math uh, inside of your script. But there are other operations we can use. So if we were to, let's say, use uh, subtraction, then we would replace this uh, plus sign with a minus symbol just like this, which is two minus two, or we can replace this with the asterisk. So if we hold shift eight, then this is what the multiplication symbol looks like for two times two, which is four. Uh, or we can replace this with the division symbol, which is going to be a forward slash. So two divided by two is equal to one. And so that's what it would print out inside of the output here. So that's the basics of using math, but this is going to be very helpful for the next two things we're going to be talking about, which is going to be parameters and functions. So what I'm going to do is go back to our game and I'm actually going to uh, disable our new math script that we just created. And I'm going to re enable our function script over here. So this is the script we created in the last episode. Now, if you were, and now if you remembered how a function is created, we basically have a local keyword with the function declaration right here. And then the name of the function over here, and then we have open and close parentheses. So what's interesting about these open and close parentheses is that we can add parameters inside of these open and close parentheses so that we can use whatever's contained inside of these parameters in this function um, to get different results depending on uh, what we use to call this function with. Now, that may sound confusing to you at first, but once we um, use this in practice, uh, it'll make more sense. So what I'm going to do is delete everything that we've had in the script so far. So I'm just gonna hit backspace just like this. And we're going to create a new function that's going to add two numbers together. So what I'm going to do is say local function, and then we're just gonna call this um, just anything really. We're gonna call this addition, open and, close, uh, open and close parentheses. I'm going to select the right side and then hit enter just like this. And I'm going to go down here and then call the addition function, just like this addition, open and close parentheses. And now we have our function declaration and also our uh, function call right over down here. 
So this looks pretty similar to what we worked with in the last uh, function that we created, but this time we're going to add parameters. Now, basically what a parameter is, it's basically a value that we can pass into this function so that we can use this value to make calculations within this function that we're calling. Um, and so the way we separate these values is by, and the way we create these values is by giving a name for each of these parameters. So uh, if we wanted to add two uh, numbers together, what we can do is um, basically make the name for our first number parameter. So what we can do is say uh, number one, just like this, uh, but we can really call it whatever we want. We can even say num one, and we can even say n1, but for this example, we're just gonna say number one like this. And each value that we add into this is going to be separated by a comma. So I'm going to add a comma, space, and then we're going to add the second number to here. So we're gonna say number two, just like this. And so these are our parameters that we can put inside of here so that we can make our addition calculation. So now what we're going to do here is with these two numbers that we um, have thrown into this addition function, we can create a result of the addition of these two functions. So we're going to say local result, or we can call this whatever we want, uh, equals number one plus number two. You can kind of think of these two numbers as variables uh, for numbers that we pass into here. And so we basically add these two numbers together to get our results. And so we can now print our result um, variable that we just created, which is the result of these two numbers being added together. So now that we've added parameters, what we need to do is add arguments to this function so that it's um, basically represented as these two numbers right here. Now, what I'm talking about here is if we go down to um, the open close parentheses inside of our function call, uh, we can see that Roblox is telling us that we need to add a number for number one, and we need to add a number for number two. So in this case, we can add two numbers, let's say five, and we can replace this with a comma, and then Roblox is going to tell us that we need a number two as well. So we can put in, let's say two. So basically, this is an argument, and this is a parameter. The difference between uh, arguments and parameters is that parameters is what we use to um, basically create our variables inside of our function declaration. And this is how we make our calculations. The arguments is going to be what values we throw into this function um, for the calculations that we're going to create inside of here. So as a result of this, what we're going to do now is go into the game and hit play. And what we should see in the output is the number seven, because what we did was we took number one and number two, we passed them in as the first argument for number one, which is five. And then the second argument for the, the for number two, which is two, we add them together and then we print out the result. I hope this part is making sense to you so far. Um, it's a very important concept you need to know about. And this isn't restricted to just numbers. You can literally put in any um, values you want inside of here. So this could be, um, let's say, a string, which is gonna, gonna be whatever it is, or it could be a Boolean as well. It doesn't really matter what it is, um, as long as the calculations are accurate, because obviously you can't calculate um, a string plus a number, but and you also can't calculate a Boolean plus a number as well. So you have to make sure that whatever you pass inside of here is accurate to your calculations that you try and make. And I hope this part has made sense to you up until this point. We can even do this multiple times by dropping a line and then uh, calling the addition function again. So we can put in, let's say three as the first number and then two as the second number. And we can even add another addition function right here, which is let's say um, nine for the first number and then four for the second number. If we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output is different results depending on the numbers that we gave this function. So now this function gives different results based on the arguments that we give it versus giving us the same results every single time we call this function, which is why parameters and arguments are very powerful when it comes to uh, adding these inside of your functions when you make them inside of your scripts. Now, there's one final thing we're gonna do before we end off this video, and that's going to be introducing return statements. Now, basically what a return statement is, is it's a value uh, when it gets calculated, it's going to return that value so that it's gonna go back into where uh, we called this function. Now, I don't know if that completely made sense to you, but if I showed you through uh, scripting, then I think uh, you'll be able to understand it better. 
So what I'm going to do is delete these function calls to make this um, more simple. And instead of printing this result value, what I'm actually going to do is return this result once we calculate um, what number one plus number two is. So I'm going to delete this print statement. And what I'm going to do instead is say return in all lowercase. And then we're going to return this result. So we're going to say result just like this. And so this is uh, our return statement. Now, what does this return statement do? Well, it returns the results of the calculation that we created back to where we called this function. So what we can do is create a variable that is attached to this function call so that we can take that value and then print it ourselves outside of this um, function. So what we're going to do is say local. Um, we can call this print result just to make this um, uh, just to differentiate this between this result. And we're going to set this equal to the function itself. So you're going to say addition, open close parentheses, and we can put in uh, whatever two numbers we want inside of here. So we're going to say eight. And then for the second number, we're going to say two, just like this, um, as we separate these by commas. And this is basically how we get the result. Um, it's by calling this function. And then um, once we um, add these two numbers, we return the result. So it's going to go back into here. And that's what print result is going to be set equal to. So now if we go down here and then uh, write our print statement with print results, just like this, if we go into the game, hit play, then what we should see in the output is 10 because uh, we did exactly what the script is supposed to do with return statements. So we create a variable on the outside. We set this equal to addition with our two numbers right here. Uh, these two numbers are then added. And then we use this return statement to return the result back to the print result variable. And so now we are printing that result. And that is how we use return statements inside of Roblox Studio. I hope this part has made sense to you so far. Um, and if it has, this has been one of the more difficult uh, things to learn about. So, um, so I can commemorate you if you've been able to follow along up until this point. So now what I'm going to do is hit stop. And that is basically going to be it for this episode. Now, I want you to keep in mind that up until this point, we haven't really been saving our work. Um, it is very important to save our work after we do anything important so that we don't lose any progress. So I'm going to go hit file and then we're going to hit save to file. Now, you can also uh, hit control S, uh, S for snake, so that we can uh, save our game whenever we make changes to the game. So that's one more thing I wanted to add before we ended off this video. For today's learning objective, what I want you to do is um, make more functions. So I want you to make a function for subtraction. Um, you can even do multiplication and division as well, uh, or you could even add more uh, numbers to add as well. So you can have another uh, parameter right here. So number three, and you can do more calculations like dividing <laughs> number three or something. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities you can have with this. You can add more parameters. Um, you can make more functions uh, that returns results or doesn't return results. Um, you have a lot of capabilities and leeway for this learning objective. So I hope you make something really great out of this learning objective. And once again, go down to the comments once you're finished and paste in uh, whatever code you made so that other people can see what you've been doing that you're comfortable sharing. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.